Hey everybody, welcome to Make Movies Now. My name is Charles, I'm your host, and today we're gonna learn how to use this mirror effect in DaVinci Resolve. Hey, hey that's pretty good, look at that. Yeah, you got a new hair chop there, yeah, a little beard too, it's looking pretty yeah, good, man, yeah, it's pretty good. good. Yeah. Yeah. Great job. job, oh, high five, high five. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate you it. You have a great day, right. make it good. All, All right. right, see you soon. Well, we're gonna piggyback off of the effect we created last week in the color page using the mask or the matte effect or creating a window. And we're going to show you how to do that again, same trick, same idea today to create a clone or again, the mirror effect. So let's dive into DaVinci and find out how to do this. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.7. We're going to create this mirror effect on the color tab. Again, kind of piggybacking off of what we did last week in uh, to create that effect. So I've got my clip on the timeline in the video one timeline below. And I need a tripod for this effect as well. And I shot myself twice in the mirror. So we've got two different versions of myself talking to each other. So the first one I've got here. And the second time I come back. And when you want to do this trick, you want to make sure that there's some sort of uh, variation in your body language just to, again, kind of sell the effect. The same effect can be used to create a cloning tool or cloning effect as well. Again, just shoot yourself uh, in two different spots. Or, I'm sorry, just make sure to shoot yourself or your subject at two different angles, two different spots. You wanna make sure, just like the Ghostbusters say, don't cross the paths. And so on this effect, what you can see is we're gonna use this middle section here as our way to split the screen into two separate uh, distinct people. So if my hand were to come over here and cross that line, then it's gonna make the the window tool a little bit harder to, to create. <laughs> so if you see my hand crossing over that line there, it's gonna be a little bit harder to create that effect. So just be you know, cautious of it. So I've got my two, I've got one clip here. We're gonna cut this in two. Again, click on the B on your keyboard for the blade tool or the cutting tool. We're gonna cut the clip here. Click your A to get your pointer. We're gonna match these both on top of each other here. And then to sync up the conversation, you can use the audio at the bottom here. And then you can also sync up the uh, distance as to one, one person's gonna come to the other by going over here into the Inspector tab. If you don't have it open, you can just click on Inspector. And under the video uh, spot, you can go to Opacity and bring that down a little bit. And then you'll be able to see a little bit nicer when the two subjects or two people start to interact with each other. Then once you're satisfied with where this is placed, especially with the high five here. There you go, close enough. <laughs> once you're satisfied with that, again, you can do this effect in the fusion page. I, th I think because of how easy and quick we can do this, we can do it in the color page too. Um, so we're gonna have this effect here. We got the two video clips, make sure to bring opacity back up all the way. Then we're gonna go to our uh, color uh, page here. And then the timeline on the far right is what we're going to take a look at here. If, again, if you're new to DaVinci Resolve, uh, DaVinci Resolve uses a node-based system. It's kind of like a layering approach, but we're going to layer on and, or create a couple different nodes here. Uh, this effect, we're not going to do a lot of color gradients. So we're not going to need to add a lot of different nodes to create different effects. We're just going to have one quick and easy effect. Again, similar to the um, uh, video last week. So over here in the uh, node tree, we're going to add an alpha output. So with your mouse, your pointer, you're gonna right click on the mouse. You're gonna add alpha output, creates this little blue uh, dot here. You're gonna connect these two blue spots together. That'll create the effect or make the effect uh, work. And then we're gonna go down to here into the middle section here with the, the menu items that you have. If you don't have them already clicked on, you can click on this circle or this window tab. And we're gonna use this pen tool to create our window or to create our hole. And it's simply as easy as going down this line in the corner of the room, making kind of a box here. And then now you can see that the two subject or two people are different. And if you want to double check where or which clip you have, again, you can use the timeline. And then in the top right, if you look at it, part of the window here is the actual clip. The other part is the grayed out section. So this grayed out section is not going to be seen. That's part of the 
that kind of window that we created. It's, the, it's what you can see through this clip to the underlying clip here again on the video timeline. If you wanted to, you can invert that by going down into the middle section here and clicking invert. You'll see that again, top right, the node, it'll, it'll invert the uh, window that you created. But depending on what you're trying to go for, uh, you do have that invert tool there. But that's all that we need to do. <clears throat> but that's all that we need to do is just to create this window, go back into the edit page, click on here. Now let's make sure to match these two up. Click space to start. <laughs> you got your two subjects there. <laughs> so that's all it is. And you can see here again with this clip, uh, you've got the, the black spot here that we created for the window. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Again, if you like what you saw, make sure to like button below, make sure to share button below, comment if you want to see anything in particular in DaVinci Resolve. Is there any glitches that you see? Please make a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe if you want to see more content and hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload content. Hope it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.